AR glasses are getting better and better and especially with Apple now introducing also uh, their new AR glasses ZTE already unveiled on the MWC the ZTE Nubia Neo Vision glass and it finally arrived here and I want to do an unboxing and quick review so let's get started So inside of this large package, the only thing that you find is this little pouch here, or actually like, yeah, its own little bag that you can see here that has, yeah, the possibility to be carried like this and yeah, easily carried also probably for a vacation or something like this. You can see the Nubia text here and you can just open it up to reveal the glasses itself that come with a nice carrying pouch as well that can also carry around also a Nubia logo in here and of course I can open it up I will open it up later and you can see here like the form of a glasses so this is why you should put it like this or the other way around actually like this uh, to be yeah hold here and then you can open up this compartment here and you will see another compartment with a USB-C cable, USB-C to USB-C cable that uh, has like this uh, rectangular angle here, 90 degree angle that probably will go into the glasses themselves and this will go to your smartphone or other USB-C display port device like your laptop or something like this. So this is the cable and the other thing that you will have here is of course a cleaning cloth um, and that's it basically. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed because I saw also the manual. By the way, the manual is also there. I uh, forgot to show you the manual. But anyway, um, in the manual there was written that uh, you can also plug it into your HDMI television or gaming console. Uh, sadly, we don't have an adapter. So you have to find or buy your own adapter. So it would be very nice for this price point. I think that ZTE could include a little adapter. Yes, it doesn't have to do 4K because the device itself can only do 1080p. So yeah, an adapter would be very nice. So let's uh, put it out there. Uh, let's open up the glasses and uh, we will see that the uh, Nubia vision glasses here look like this. You can see they come tinted or with this like uh, very cool design, glass design. Here you can see my camera setup, by the way. And uh, yeah, it's a Nubia logo brand here as well as there. And uh, you can see when I open it up, we have like inside also the OLED mirrors. Then we have here the USB-C port. This one is not for charging because it doesn't have a battery included. You might think because it's quite thick here that it has a battery included. No, it is powered by USB-C and also delivering the uh, video feed via USB-C. Why is it so thick though? So it's because we have a very good surround sound speakers in here that uh, yeah, deliver very good sound. Actually, I was surprised by the sound quality of those. You can see those firing downwards, not only sidewards. Um, and actually, the cool thing about when you have the glasses on, you don't hear the sound leaking so much, which is quite good. So this is with the uh, tinted glasses on. You can of course get it off. It's magnetic and here you can see the mirrors that actually mirroring the screen from there. There you can see the actually OLED screens, 1080p resolution and uh, yeah this can give you 120 um, inch kind of screen that you can project via those little glasses into your eyes which is quite nice. You can see here the nose uh, adjustments as well as uh, diopter adjustments, my myopia adjustments. So if you want to adjust this because you have like uh, bad vision or something like this, you have the possibility to do so, which is quite nice. And uh, yeah, and probably maybe one day they will offer maybe not a bluish tint, but maybe silver or gold or whatever you want as a tint. It's magnetically fitting in here and um, yeah you the only thing that you have to do for getting a video feed is just uh, plug in the USB-C cable here into this USB-C uh, adapter and then of 
course this into a smartphone you could use uh, whatever smartphone you want i have of course my zte Axon 40 ultra here and this one has also video out of course and i can just plug it in here and start working with this one uh, which is quite uh, cool of a feature and yeah let me show you how it looks like when you wear it so this is how it would look like when you wear it so i have them here just put them on my skull and this is how it looks like i don't see you right now but what i can do is like remove this cover here and then i'm able to see you through which is quite cool and yeah with this on of course you are more concentrated emerged into the picture that you can see here with this off you can still with your eyes focus on stuff behind the display itself or on the display itself and one might think that might be not quite bright enough for this transparent mode where you can just focus on it but believe me i used it for certain uh, video conferencing calls or watching a video and working on stuff or reading some text at the same time which works quite nicely of course it depends on what you're using it for and what you are doing with it but uh, most of the time it is decent enough for the quality that you will get i put the cable in here by the way just to demonstrate you how it will look like when i put it on you can see that the cable is going you put it on here so it goes nicely behind your ear so you don't have any issues where uh, you can wear this um, uh, actually in your pocket if you want to watch a movie or something like this which is quite nice as well or you can lie down with it without it being disturbing which is quite nice so i have my zte Axon 40 ultra here just plug it in unlock the device and just a second later i get the display now uh, this display here on the screen i can see it i can focus on the camera with my eyes but i can also see this um yeah blend in basically here and uh, yeah i can use it now to do certain thing th things the only big difference that i see or issue i see with using your smartphone like this might be i don't see a cursor so i don't know where i am with my hand right now what i would really like them to have in a more advanced version maybe uh, neo vision glasses pro version would be like some sensors here that allows you to use like your hands like the apple vision uh, pro showed i know it is quite an expensive technology but probably you can get something uh, done or you have to have some controls here which might be also nice like to have because it's such a big kind of pad to have like a little mouse cursor that you can move around here up down left and right or something like this for certain actions might be very very cool otherwise what i forgot to mention is of course when you're watching a movie or something like this you have to go into the landscape mode and uh, let me just go one of my videos i can show it to you very easily so if i'm going into one of the movies here um, i go into the landscape mode then of course i have the full screen otherwise i get only like the smartphone screen like this so like the projected bigger smartphone screen like this which is not very helpful sometimes so have it like this and you get the whole screen filled but i think it's still not using the whole 21 by 9 um and the, the whole 16 by 9 aspect ratio because like you can zoom in make it a little bit bigger then it is using the whole kind of surface area otherwise it's not using the whole surface area which for a smartphone might be an issue for uh, computers where you can change the resolution to 16 by 9 usually and 1080p that's not an issue but on smartphones like also the zex and 40 ultra uh, you have to have a special app for this that can do this that can change the resolution or you have to like in youtube videos zoom in a little bit uh, which will crop in some stuff which is maybe not always what you want to have and one big issue that I see, especially with the ZDX and 40 Ultra, is when I just turn it off here, the display, then I get a wide screen with the time, which is like super annoying and super disturbing uh, for some reason. So, yeah, this is something that you have to keep in mind. In certain phones, it does not work the way you want it. Uh, my tip would be using a phone like, for example, the. Um, on a magic vs of course it's a very expensive phone but this one has a very nice option when you plug it in you can it will ask you to have like the projection mode either a phone or a desktop and the cool thing if you have a desktop then you have really the whole 16 by 9 aspect ratio covered otherwise you can also say 
uh, auto adjust to this aspect ratio and then you will get also the full 16 by 9 coverage which is quite nice as well for uh, this kind of uh, screen so this one works also very very nice and uh, many other phones that have display out can work very nicely with this glasses on. The only issue that I see, especially when using this with this phone or my um, computer, is that on the sides, even with the myopia corrected completely, on the sides it gets a bit blurry, On especially this side. I have to move then the glass a bit like this, then it's working. But then the other side is a bit blurry. So I think the whole 120 inches are covered in a way it works nicely with phones that don't use the whole space but as soon as you want to use the whole space and uh, you have your windows laptop linux laptop or whatever and want to go into the corners and see the time or something like this it's a bit blurry for some reason at least for my eyes maybe i have bad eyes i don't know but it's not working as nicely for me especially when it comes to corner sharpness where you see that they cut corners a little bit even for this high price of 500 something euros they cut corners a little bit where uh, the towards the edges there and the sharpness as well as even if you have this on want to watch a movie you can see that there's quite an area here down there that's opened up so ideally for watching movies you need some kind of cup or something that is closing this gap here as well because i cannot put it on tighter so this would be something that uh, would help as well for watching movies to be more immersed because the sound is helping a lot already with the immersiveness level that you can get with this uh, neovision glasses so in general i think it's a good first try they could improve certain things there i really also would like them to put maybe a little tiny battery and a little operating system in there that allows you to use this glasses without any cable attached to it but if you have the cable attached to it then uh, their phones need to have like a special mode for this at least maybe it has a special mode but by default it's not turning on or asking me about the special mode so i didn't find it a special mode that allows you or this is optimized for the neo vision glasses an easy user interface that allows you to uh, dive into youtube or other things so this is something that uh, you have to keep in mind so otherwise i can show you the controls of those here because yes you have also uh, certain controls so let's talk about the controls of the Neovision glasses. So you can see we have physical controls. So we have buttons here on the side. This is, I think, for brightness, up and down. Uh, actually, this is up, this is down. Uh, so you can control it while you're holding it on or have it on your nose. You can just simply control here brightness up and down. If you want to watch it, for example, in a darker room and you don't need this to shine directly so bright into your face, like in daylight situations where you need it maybe there you can simply adjust it without any issues and the other one on the other side is the volume control so you can change the volume of course on your smartphone or your playback device but here you have a separate plus and minus uh, option for the volume control as well which might be very helpful uh, for controlling the volume the volume is not very high i have to say even with the loudest setting on my smartphone and the loudest setting here it's okay to listen to something uh, it's not leaking sound which is nice but i really like it could get a little bit louder here and there and uh, yeah sometimes you have to like then wear some headphones or something like this to be totally immersed but for a podcast for a small little episode on netflix or something like this for a train ride this might be very very cool otherwise yeah the neovision glasses i really like them they're not too heavy they're not too um yeah disturbing looking uh, for a pair of sunglasses for example um i it's a good first try from Nubia when it comes to this kind of technology. It is yeah, cheaper maybe than the competition. I, it's not like very intelligent. It's just a playback device, like a display, mobile display that you can take um, wherever you want to. If I want to edit my videos, probably I would have run into some issues uh, even when using my um, on a Magic VS or other device because the sharpness this the corner sharpness is not there always but i could imagine i would try at least editing this with this uh, one here to see like some of the details of the video that i recorded which is quite nice 
Otherwise, what do you think about the Nubia Neo Vision glasses? I think it's a good first try and I like this technology. I really like them to push this also in a price region which is more affordable. That helps also the successor products or even like the uh, other products to go even lower in terms of price. But the quality here is good. The, the brightness is good. Next step would be my, maybe like I said an ultra version a bit more expensive like 300 to 400 euros more expensive with maybe a little bit more technology inside there 4k OLEDs would be nice and I really want them to maybe able to make this a little bit bigger so that we'd have the center sharpness there corner sharpness there or have an adjustment level for the zoom so if it is my eyes that are playing a little bit of a trick with me uh, an adjustment level for the zoom so like I have a 1080p picture even 4k picture that i can like zoom out a little bit so that i don't have or run into this issue with this corner sharpness uh, that i have here with the neovision uh, glasses so what do you think about the neovision glasses i think it's a very good cool and good concept it's a bit expensive so i would not recommend it for someone to buy that that is looking for something that he can work with or do conference calls with on a train or plane or something like this but it's uh, definitely something uh, for casual uh, casual um, listening casual uh, watching some um, yeah netflix episodes and so on uh, and yeah it's a novelty project i would uh, product i would say so what do you think about this one here the nubia neovision glasses and uh, hopefully hopefully i'm not sure if it's possible but i th hope they are able to also upgrade some of the software features here uh, what are software features so like i said like the adjustments for example for the display somehow that they allow us uh, with uh, certain clicks of the buttons maybe to adjust not only the brightness but also the displays in a way that would be also very nice not sure if it's possible even uh, or uh, raise the volume and loudness a little bit of those tiny little speakers yeah that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it my uh, first look on the neovision glasses by zte until the next time bye